All right, let's make the drawing for this. Click File. I'm going to go down to New. Uh, I'm going to click ANSI IDW. So this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the sheet to C size because I'm just the, we don't need one that big. Uh, and when I put this in, this view comes in looking at it from the side. Now this is interesting and unique because uh, when I do that, I want to look at both sides of this because I want to see down inside of it on this end. But I also want to see what that looks like from the top there. Right, and so that should be good. And when I make my section view, I'm going to pick this view right here, and I'm going to start somewhere here in the middle, and I'm just going to come out across from there and go straight across there. Right click, continue, and put a top view in there like this. Okay, so we'll start with the stuff that we see from the outside. And I'm going to go ahead, and when I annotate this, I'm going to put this one. Oh, let's do the center marks. So I'm going to do a center mark on this. I'll do a center mark on that. I'm not going to do this one because it goes right through the center to hide behind that line anyway. But I'll do the center line bisector on this line and this line. And I'm going to hit escape twice and then come out here and do this. All right. So now I've got that view. I'm going to move that up just a little bit for right now so I can get dimensions right. So then I'll put this dimension here. I'm going to start with this one and say that's one inch. And it goes through. So i got my cap lock on. So we're good. And then I'm going to do a dimension for this one. I'm going to do each, for each one, a diameter for each one of the steps. So I got one for each one of the steps right there. Oops. So that's good, which means the outside one I don't need and the inside one I don't need. But I do want to put a dimension on for that right there. All right. And you should never dimension hidden lines. So I'm going to put a dimension on for this radius right here right there all right so next uh, I'll go in here I'm gonna put a dimension for uh, oops I'll do a dimension that goes for this line right right here uh, which is really interesting so that's the same as this so let's just put a dimension on that and yeah let's just go here Do that one. Do one right here. And then I'll do one that goes the entire length. So those, those are taken care of. So I think if we looked at this, all of these are taken care of. So I've got, that's the ones I just did this way. I did that one, that one. I did those two. I did all of these. Oh, so I've got a key way to put in here. Let me fix that problem. All right, so one of the things I want to do here is uh, I'm just looking at that. i got to put a keyway in, which is going to go in here somewhere. So I'm just going to go back to my part, right, which I completely forgot. Right-click on this, click New Sketch, and uh, let's just put it. We're going to put it right down here somewhere. So I'll put on a rectangle somewhere here like this, and then we'll start working this out. So it's 0.1888 divided by 9.4. This is actually half of it, so we're just going to make the, the square. Um, 0.188 so we'll say that this is oops oops let's click equals constraint say that those two sides are equal so it's a square and then we're going to say that this is 0.188 all right we'll horizontal or vertically horizontally constrain the midpoint or vertically constrain the midpoint to the origin point all right and then i'm going to constrain the midpoint of this to this arc right there all right finish that sketch and then when i extrude this I'll just extrude this part right here. Nope, cancel. I want to extrude this. I want to cut and go through all. So it cuts through everything and click OK. So now I've got my keyway in there. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to go back to my drawing. There's my keyway. And um, we can do a couple things, but one I'll do here is I'm just going to go like this. And I'll do one that goes from here to here also. All right, and um, just for giggles, I'm going to right click on that. So I just kept right clicking and I'm going to go to three decimal places on that and three decimal places on this. So now we've got that taken care of. We don't have to put that as a keyway or that it goes through all because now it's covered by all of that. All right, so now we're in good shape and we are ready to double click there and put the stuff in our title block. So this is a, um, uh, this is the step pulley. So I'm all caps, step pulley. 
um, company. Um, project step pulleys right there. We don't need it there. We do want it here. Two nine eight. Two nine eight dash. Oh, I can't change the location. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. Dash seven two. Um, the description is the step pulley. So these things kind of help you later on when we're starting to do assemblies, and that's going to be important. So that's it right there. So you're ready to move on after you show it to me real quick. Um, all right. Very good.